about the things generally that you will need to create a repair plan, like, right? If it's your shop and you're going to have to fix it, what are some of the common things you would need to fix, say, a front quarter panel? This year, students in Eastside's Collision Repair class are learning vital skills. Any damage to the bumper. Okay. The students begin their work on the car. The body near the bumper has been dented, and the bumper itself has been loosened. New paint. It is being held to the body with tape. So about nine and a half inches across. But I need you to create an estimate charging labor, parts, equipment, and anything else, and you're going to give me what that total is, and then I'm going to make a decision. You don't want to undercut yourself so that you lose money, but you also don't want to elevate that to the point where I'm like, ooh, that one's too expensive. The students are documenting the damage, preparing an estimate for the customer. Well, I need to tell them to tell me what it's going to cost to have it fixed so that it's pretty like when I bought it. I also need to know how long it's going to take, and I want to make sure that the shop is insured in case something else happens to my car. When students are finished looking the car over, they document what they found. That they're professional. Um, I'm also probably going to check their reputation online and with people like this shop was recommended to me. And so I'm just coming to get estimates. My insurance company needs three estimates. And so this was one of the shops that was recommended to me. So I'm going to get the estimates. And then but basically, I want to make sure it's going to be done well, done correctly, using you know good new parts, and quickly so that I can get my car back. Real life skills to help them succeed. This has been Michael Dietz reporting.